In today's video, I will show you how I use ChatGPT code interpreter to write all my text. There are some rumors that the code interpreter is a new model from OpenAI, and I do see some better outputs when comparing it to the default GPT-4. There are also other benefits that we will take a look at, so let's just get started. What you see here is the flowchart I use when I do some writing with the code interpreter. So you can see number one here is your topics and notes. Sometimes you need notes. Let's say I want to write a blog post about AGI, existential risk and all that hot mess. Kinda need some notes now in 2023. So I just went ahead, go to some different news sites, some blog posts, collect some data I think is interesting for my post. And what I can do then is just head over here to an empty text file, just a plain text file, paste in all my notes here. Uh, so you can see here I collected a bunch of notes on AGI risk. And the next step then, if we look at the flowchart here, it's going to be upload those notes and use the outline prompt. So let's just go ahead and do that. Instead of using the default GPT-4, we are going to use the code interpreter. The next thing is going to be to upload our notes. So I'm just going to go here, upload our notes file. Then I'm going to use my, what I've called the outline prompt. And I have selected an author I am a big favorite of. So let's have a read of this. Ignore all previous instructions, you're an excellent author, non-fiction writer, and expert in human psychology and philosophy. So I thought we can just add in some expertise in AI, right? This is kind of our system prompt. Your first task is to read the notes the user has uploaded. Yes. Reflect on them and write an outline for a blog post on your thoughts about the topic. You can see we have the notes here, everything is ready, so we can just press submit. Let's take a look here, so you can see it started with... Uh, uh, let's me take a look at the notes you uploaded. Note seems to dwell into the provocative topic, existential risk post by AI or AGI. Here's a brief outline for a blog post inspired by these notes and my own reflection infused with the style reminiscent Megan O. Giblin. So you can see here we have the outline, the paradox of AGI, savior or slayer. So you can see we have an introduction, we have some historical context, the doomers perspective, a philosophical interlude beyond fear. Yeah, we got some good topics here. And you can see we have some subtopics like briefly mentioned the society's fascination with AGI. And yeah, uh, with this, I think we are ready for our next step. So if you take a look at here, we're gonna save this outline to a file. So what I do then, just copy all of this. And I'm gonna head over to Let's say just paste it in here because we get this weird thing. I'm just gonna mark it all normal text normal text And I'm gonna copy that and let's take a new file here and Just save it. Uh, so this is gonna be our outline, right? We don't have to save this But it's nice to have when we are gonna write as I'm gonna show you soon Okay, so now that we have our outline the next step is gonna be to use our introduction prompt So let me just show you how I do that here is what I call the introduction prompt, so it's basically the same as before, so your writing should hook the audience from the beginning, use thought-provoking questions to create an engaging experience, and we have some instructions here, so let's take a look at those. Now, write in first-person view, as you are an expert in AI, human psychology, philosophy, with the style of Megan O'Gibley, reflect the style in your writing, but do not mention their names in the text. Do not repeat the same phrases and terms your already uh, written text. Use different words and expressions. Variance is very important so you don't lose the audience attention. In a first person view, use phrases like I think, I believe, I, etc. Write. And now we are gonna take, uh, we should go to our outline now. We're gonna copy our introduction outline here, right? So I'm just gonna paste that in here. So write introduction and all of that. Execute instructions. So we're just gonna click submit. And yeah, this is kind of the text I have been looking for, and I think it's much more interesting, at least, than the default GPT-4, at least when we set it up like this. So let's take a quick look here, so you can see. Uh, I, found, I often found myself entranced by the allure of AGI. It's much like the siren song calling out the deepest recesses of our collective human psyche. I really enjoy this kind of writing, So and I read a lot of it, and uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, of course, it has a bit over-the-top style, but you can tone that down if you want to. Uh, so that is our introduction. So what we're going to do now is just copy this and head to uh, here. Uh, we're going to remove this and we're going to paste in our instruction here. We're just going to do it like this. So this is just for storing our text. So I'm going to copy this 
and create a file here called text. So here is our introduction, right? So I'm just going to call it introduction and we're going to save that, right? And then we can move on to our next step and that is going to be, yeah, we saved the introduction now to a new file. The next step is going to be upload instruction, introduction, plus use the prompt to write section one. Okay, so let's do that. This prompt is going to be a bit different, but not much. So you can see the user has uploaded your writing so far. Find a way to read the full text, then execute the instructions. And then we can see we just repeat our prompt here. So what we're going to do now is just uh, take away this. And we're going to find our next step in the outline. And that is going to be historical context. Okay, let's copy that. Let's grab all of it. Good. Then I go here, paste in the historical context, execute instructions. Then we just need to upload uh, the, what we have written so far. That is our introduction, right? And just press submit. And yeah, there we have it. So you can see here, uh, I think we got some good stuff here. You can see we have... Consider J. Robert Oppenheimer's evocative reaction after witnessing the first atomic bomb test. Now I have become death, the destroyer of worlds. So you can see, and we refer to Alan Turing, we refer to Hannah Arndt. So a lot of interesting stuff here. I think the writing is much more, how should I describe it? Vibrant and alive. Uh, and I really like it. What we're gonna do now is just continue down this line, right? So we're gonna save this output. You're going to upload the text and use the prompt to write the next section. So let's do a couple of runs and see where we are at. Okay, so there we have it. So you can see here is the full article now. We ended up, uh, I think it's about 1700 words. Kind of skim read through it and I kind of like it. Yeah, 1700 words, uh, 10,000 characters. We could have expanded this much, but I think it was kind of perfect when I read through it. Uh, yeah, interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the prompts up on my website if you want to try this out for yourself. I'm also going to be leaving a link to this text here as a podcast episode for my Think Big podcast if you want to listen to what I kind of wrote here. It's a lot to read, but uh, yeah, you can do that if you want to. And I hope you found this interesting. So yeah, see you again in the next one.